Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So Wednesday of last week, I posted a video of a store based in Switzerland or at least selling to Switzerland that had made 50 grand profit selling a saturated product. Well, I've found another store that I think you guys would be interested in as well. That video did particularly well, so I thought why not do a new one? And this time I have one that is even closer or even more popular within the dropshipping space. And this is a pet store. So if you have tried selling pet products up to this point and it hasn't quite worked out for you, then maybe this is the answer. So in that video on Wednesday, we spoke about advertising costs and how taking a product that is tried and tested and quote unquote saturated when people hear the word saturated they think that's the end they think they should move on it's the be all and end all and it's the death of a product or it means that a product has been sold to death and therefore cannot be sold anymore however i think your opinion and the way you look at saturated products should be the opposite what a lot of people forget is when you are drop shipping, you don't have to touch the product, which means you don't have to sell to the country that you live in. You can sell to pretty much any country you want to, as long as you can advertise there, of course, and of course, as long as you can get the product delivered there. So whilst most people are thinking, I'm gonna to sell to the US, I'm gonna to sell to the UK, I'm gonna to sell to Australia, a lot of people forget about non-English speaking countries. If you have a product that is tried and tested and you know for sure has worked in the US, then there's a very high chance that it will sell very well in places like Switzerland, which I proved on Wednesday, like Italy, like France, all of these European countries which still have a high GDP. However, because it's not as competitive there for ad space, and I can prove this if we jump on to Statista. So this is cost per meal. So CPM of Facebook ads in selected countries, territories worldwide in the third quarter of 2021. So granted, it is a couple of years old. However, it won't have changed much since then. What we can clearly see is that United States tops this list by a mile. If we come all the way down, we can find Italy down here at a 5.5. So it is a fraction of the cost in comparison to the United States. So this is Q4, so bearing in mind these will be inflated. Bearing in mind this is an average depending on what niche, what industry you're competing for. If you're not sure what a CPM is, basically it's the cost for your ad to appear 1000 times. And the way that price is determined is by how many other people are also competing for that same place to show their ad. So a good analogy that I always use is think of CPMs, advertising CPMs like eBay. So if you're trying to buy something on eBay, the more people trying to buy that same product, the more it's gonna ramp up the price of it. This is the exact same thing when you're advertising. The more people trying to advertise to the same audience as you, the more expensive that CPM is going to be. If we jump onto this website here, we can see again, the United States tops that list. In fact, this is the exact figure with an average CPM of $13.25. Again, keep in mind, this is an average across the whole of the United in the whole of the United States. So this is the US here. If we take a look at Italy, Italy is actually less than $5. So it's almost a third of the cost, a bit less. So basically what that means is that if you are advertising in the US and I am advertising in Italy, for every $1 I spend, you have to spend about two and a half dollars to reach the exact same amount of people. So basically your advertising costs, give or take, are cut in half. And that can make a significant difference. It will make a significant difference to your bottom line profitability. If you are currently running a dropshipping business now and somebody said they could half your advertising costs, you'd probably snap their hand off. So back to the store in question, they're called Pet Pans. They are a leading brand on the Italian market for the pet niche, fast shipping, sole supply for 40 products, and cash on delivery available, free stock, high margin, so on and so forth. So this is a one year old business, so a very new business, a very premature business, and their average monthly profit is 5,000 US dollars, which equates to about 60 grand profit a year. We can indeed see it's a verified listing too, which means flipper.com, their own team have checked this store to make sure the numbers are legit and they stack up. And if we come down then into a quick kind of breakdown of their expenses, we can see shipping is 500, marketing at two grand a month, warehousing at 27 and Shopify fees 130. This is their financial st 
statistics from the past 12 months. So they have a very good profit margin of 59%. That's probably due to the fact that their advertising costs are so cheap. Annual profit of 60 grand and an annual revenue of 100. There's no better business to run than an extremely profitable business because it gives you so much freedom. One of the issues that you have to combat somebody selling in the UK is VAT before you register for VAT, it's all well and good. However, if you're making 20% and then you hit that 80 grand or that 86 grand mark, I think it is now, that VAT can completely wipe your profit margin. So the more profitable your business can be, the better. So all this being said then, what products are they selling? We'll jump onto their website and we'll just have a scroll down so you can see the exact type products. The beauty of advertising in a country or dropshipping in a country that isn't familiar with seeing dropshipping ads either, it allows you to have lower standards, I should say. So back in the day when I first got started in 2016, I just imported imagery across from suppliers on AliExpress and it worked. I was able to get purchases for three pounds. I made 140 grand in my first year and it was just easy or not easy, but it was certainly so much easier than what it is today. To advertise and be successful in the UK, in the US, in these competitive places, you have to be on top of your game and you have to out compete and be better than everybody else. However, if you go to countries like Italy, places where the CPMs are mega, mega cheap and people are not familiar with dropshipping products, you can get away with a lot lower standard of website. So if you're familiar with the dropshipping space, especially the pet products, you've probably seen Seen this product before um, you've probably seen the pet pads you've probably seen this carrier you most definitely will have seen this lint roller I'm not quite oh, it's a cat scratching post um, and you will have seen this ball before if we come down a bit further we can even see some more kind of viral products that sold extremely well in the US and UK in typical countries like this um, shaggy kind of like anti-anxiety dog bed um, and of course this pet sofa cover and of course this harness as well now in case you're thinking well they might be doing something differently let's take a look at a product page for this product so we can see everything looks exactly the same as what you would do if you were selling a store um, selling a product sorry in the United States or the U, um, in the UK everything is exactly the same even a description so they've got a kind of like scarcity thing to so due to high demand for the product shipping times may vary five to seven working days so they're obviously drop shipping a size guide then they have that textbook kind of product description so it's a heading followed by paragraph followed by gif Sometimes they'll have another heading, sometimes it'll just be another paragraph followed by GIF or image, paragraph, GIF or image. The benefits are kind of why you would pick this brand versus anybody else, some shipping information guarantees. And then to me, that looks like looks review. So they are indeed doing the exact same thing as me and you. However, the biggest difference is they are selling in a country which is significantly less competitive. One final thing then just to wrap this video up before I go um, is after the video on Wednesday, a lot of people got in touch and said, well, how do I overcome the language barrier? I don't speak Italian. I don't speak Swedish. I don't speak so on and so forth. Um, so I want to show you this. This is the EF English Proficiency Index. Basically, it's a measure of how well somebody who took the EF test is called um, in a country, basically how well they understand English. If we take a scroll down to the list, um, it's in order as well. So if we consider any of these that have a very high proficiency, basically, I mean, broadly speaking here, um, the average person in one of these countries is going to understand English, which means you could get away, or at least it would be worth testing ad creatives in English, which means it's even easier to get started with. Now, in my own opinion, if you want to set yourself up for the best chances of success, then I would hire translators. You can go to Viva, you can go to places like Upwork, you can have somebody who will work alongside you and they will translate your ad creatives, they will translate your ad copies, they will translate your Shopify store. Yes, it will cost a fee. However, you will get that money back in the savings on the actual ad costs themselves. So if you want something to take away from this video, head over to Wikipedia, go to the English Proficiency Index, which we're looking at now, take one of these countries, have a look at what the average CPM is against the United States, and then pick one to start your business in. Because you never know, this may be the missing piece to the puzzle, to the business that takes off for you. And like I said at the beginning of the video, as long as you pick a product that you know is tried and tested, validated, and a product that everybody is calling saturated, you know you have a product that serves a purpose and serves a demand. So taking it to a country where they may not have seen it before or may not have seen it as much 
could potentially be a gold mine for you and with that being said then guys i just want to thank you for watching the video i really appreciate all of the support on the channel don't forget to comment like and subscribe if there's anything i can do to help you get started make sure you leave a question in the comment section down below i read every single one so i will get back to you and i will respond thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next video